uh, eight across where 11 lives beside American racetrack where 11 lives beside American racetrack yes let's crack this cryptic Gary <laughs> that, that different stream naughty naughty um, now that might be referencing 11 across um I have a feeling it is actually uh, 11 across primate wearing unfashionable article 5-4. So I'm going to tackle this 11 across because then this might help us with 8 across. Primate wearing unfashionable article. Hmm. Uh, I hope you've all brought biscuits. Biscuits are obligatory, I think, uh, in this channel. I, I have a cup of coffee here, and I have biscuits here, which today are golden crunch creams. Mm. That's a minute of faffing around. Sorry about that. I'm stuck on this one, so... Um, hmm. Uh, the, so a primate could be like an ape, but it could also be... Uh, a re there are religious figures, for some reason, called primates. Annika's going to get the Jaffa cakes out. Ooh, good call. Uh, so a hint on this one, if you um, if you uh, are in the know on this eleven across, ape is the right lines. Okay, so um, so we've got uh, oh, okay, so so the Telegraph, do they still like to hyphenate orangutan? Is that what it is? Wearing unfashionable art called. Called primate called so out loud wearing. Uh, hello, Cryptic Sunday. You had an excellent stream last Sunday, by the way. I very much enjoyed it. Um, unfashionable article. Is it that? Oh, 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 right. So, thank you very much for the parsing here, Shim. Rang is called. Uh, ah, and it's inside unfashionable. If something is fashionable, it's in. So if it's unfashionable, it is by definition out. So it's rang in out and then an article is an. OK, let's have a look and see if that helps us with eight across. Where 11 lives beside American racetrack. OK, so it's got to be where do orangutans live? I should... I should know this. Catnip says, well, late is easy, and I'm currently struggling. Uh, hello, Aiden. I hope you are well. I mean, they live in forests, but um, that doesn't help us. In the jungle, in Borneo. Um, besides America. So American will here probably be US. Um, mm. Ugh. This is where you're all going to be shouting at the screen, and I apologise. Uh, orangutan, this is where I shout. Uh, under my bed, says Sensei. That doesn't fit. No, an orangutan would not fit under my bed. No, if only because I've already filled it up with, uh, with mostly board games, to be fair. Oh, the library. That's why you said library. Yes, in the disc world. Oh, I love, love Terry Pratchett's disc world. Oh, I miss him. Uh, where 11 lives? Beside. Near is beside. Next to. Uh, America. I mean, American is US here. American is US and a race. Why is that a racetrack? Oval. Uh, a hint for if you've got on this one. Oh, I do apologise. I mean, I've got 12 across already, but I, I, but the, the two that I've tried uh, do give me a hint, please. Uh, Cryptic Sunday, go for it. A is American, okay. Uh, <sighs> where, where? Orangutans live in Indonesia. Nope, not spotting it. I'm going to move to one down and hopefully something will... will this is where one orangutan would live, okay. The Jungle Book. Okay, one down. Notable female, a computer operator, mostly. Notable female, a computer operator, mostly. Hmm. Okay, I've got an idea for part of the wordplay. Just getting my wad of paper here. 
More specific place an ape would live. Oh, I'm going to call for the answer for that in a second, but not yet. No, uh, so notable is... Pro ah, okay. Okay, I've got this. I just need to parse it. It is famous. Um, so if you are notable, you are famous. Such as people on the Cracking the Cryptic stream who like to do cryptic solve it, uh, cryptic Sudoku puzzles. Uh, female is F here. A is then A. A is A. I know that's a thing on uh, on uh, Sun Cryptic Sunday's channel. And then... Oh, it's a mouse. I, I thought a computer operator was going to be user. And then you, you take off the final letter of user, but it's not. You're absolutely right. It is mouse minus E, because it is most of that. And then you're famous. Oh, what is eight? Someone, so it, what is eight? Oh, Alchemist has got it as well. Um, where 11 lives. Oh, so, so someone please enlighten me. Oh, it's in, in. A something. Someone enlighten me on a, a eight across, please. I don't like giving up, but I want to move on. Um, in a ch oh, so that is ah, oh, oh, that's good and also annoying. So where eleven lives, it lives in a tree, or in a, uh, and Aintree tree is a, a a British racetrack. So it's besides American, A is the American there, and it lives in tree. In tree is the racetrack. Oh my goodness, that's an amazingly bad pun. Excellent. Two down. Rampaging, so in vain attack. Rampaging, so in vain attack. Finally one that I've got, so I'm just going to give that a few seconds to have a look at that. That was, I think that is a, definitely up in the, in the world of crypticness there. That is definitely cryptic. Rampaging, so in vain attack. This one is an anagram. Uh, rampaging is the anagram indicator here. If you anagram so in vain, you get invasion, which is both a word for an attack and also um, a, a Magic the Gathering set from the early 2000s. Hello, nerds. Uh, 13 across. Move, period of work. Move, period of work. Here we go. I'm on fire now. I've got this one. Hello, Ed Fogarty. Uh, I will always give you a few seconds to think about it because um, what occurs to me will not occur to you and vice versa. Mostly the vice versa. You'll get the stuff and I'll be sitting here. Move, period of work. This one. It's a double definition. Oh, you've got work tomorrow, egg fried cheese. Oh, no, it's double definition. It is indeed shift. It is indeed shift. Uh, which, if you move, you shift, and a uh, shift is a period of work. 13. 13. Uh, sorry, number. By 13, I mean three. Three down. Put the fear of God into criminal. Ring the FBI man arrests. Put the fear of God into criminal. Ring the FBI man arrests. Now, there's some very interesting letters there. Right, I feel like put the fear of God into is going to be the definition here. It's either going to be that or arrests, because it's usually always, you know, at the front or the back of the clue. Um, but it just feels to me like put the fear of God into is the definition here. Criminal ring could be a gang. FBI man. Arrests. FBI man. I mean, it'd be, is that a G-man? Is that one of the FBI men or is that the CIA? I never know which, which one it is. Could be an agent, of course. Uh, although, although that might appear elsewhere in the, in the puzzle. It's not G-man. Is criminal an anagram indicator? It might be, uh, June. Uh, I, I can't find which ten letters it's an anagram of, 
but criminal ring. Oh goodness. Uh, close but not G-man. Hmm. Put the fear of God into. I assume that's the definition. Criminal. Criminal ring. So anagram of ring the. So it's probably an anagram of ring the with the FBI agent in the middle, isn't it? It's probably that. Ring the. And then FBI. Uh, and then whatever the name for this FBI man is, they put in the middle, probably. But I'm going to need an extra letter. How about... Uh, what's the first letter? What's the first few letters of FBI? It's, oh, it's a Fed, isn't it? It is a Fed. So if, so if it's, is it, is it that? Is it that way round? Oh, I should be able to get it from this. Uh, fra, fragidated. Uh, uh, oh, it's ring the, it's anagram. Frightened, oh my goodness, thank you very much. <laughs> as soon as I remembered it was the anagram. Oh my word, so sorry. <laughs> so, uh, I haven't had enough coffee, obviously. Nine down. So the uh, just to go over the parsing there, put the fear of God into, you frighten. Criminal means anagram, r anagram of ring the in the, the FBI man who is a fed. So it's anagram of ring the in fed. Nine down. Grub found in peat soil. Grub. Found it in peat soil. Huzzah! Uh, good afternoon, uh, Foggy. Uh, good morning, I should say, from where you are. And uh, someone's saying boo, boo worms. I haven't told any particularly bad jokes yet today, but there's plenty of time. I'll get into it. Nine down. Nine down. I'm looking forward to food this afternoon. Uh, I have not really eaten very much today, so I'm slightly hungry. I'm looking forward to some eats. And why is the answer eats? It is because it is literally in. Uh, it is it, it is not a grub as in an animal type of grub. It's literally food and it's found in peat soil E-A-T-S right there um, Do I go for the big one? Nah, four down. I'm a chicken. Four down. Interpret excuse for delay when one is lost <laughs> Frightened is boo. Excellent. Excellent uh, Interpret excuse for delay when one is lost Hmm Eight sixteen in the morning. Oh dear, I was not up at eight sixteen this morning. Ooh, I was barely up at four sixteen today, which is one minute ago. Um, hmm. Interpret excuse for delay when one is lost. Yeah, I'm. I'm not spotting anything here, so I'm going to go for ten across. In fact, I'm going to go twelve across just simply because I spotted it earlier, and. It might make things easier just because I'll be able to put some letters in the grid. Spies, a decent chap. Spies, a decent chap. I've even mentioned this word already in the in in the stream. Uh, I'll I want to get at least like another letter or two in four down before I tackle it. Um, otherwise, otherwise, I just feel like I'll be. I don't want too much help. He says grumpy. Uh, this is a gent. A decent chap is a gent. Uh, and uh, they, then they are a spy. Don't know whether it, there's a theme in this puzzle. Don't expect so. I think it was just we happened to talk about it. Five down. High point as stake raised. High point as stake raised. Hmm. <laughs> a fried cheese is uh, saying I'm wearing double grey, double grey. I've got a, I've got an orange t-shirt underneath. I will not have to um, not be changing any of my clothes today during the stream. I did a question recently in a quiz where I I basically changed my clothes halfway through and then asked what I was wearing. Um, all I can think of as an, a high point is an acme, a c m e, and then if you reverse it, but that that doesn't um, doesn't really spot. I I would have watched. Orangutan agent as as the, as a seventies cop show that would that would be astonishing. Uh, high point is a peak. I'm a peak, but that doesn't help. As steak raised, a uh, steak could be a T bone. Five down is a chestnut. I don't know what the, the names of any chestnuts. Um. Ah, oh, can I have a hint on five, five down, please? Um, a steak be a chop. 
Oh, it's S-T-E-A-K. That's also a very point. Okay. This is a proper name. Oh. Ella. Um, Isla. It, it is it is it does it is it something something S A because it's as and then steak uh, a bet you think this was in the puzzle yesterday uh, uh a steak a oh, high point is an A is it uh, yeah bet is it beta Is it beta? It doesn't feel... To me, it doesn't feel right. Okay, it's not beta. Hmm. I mean, if it's if it's raised... If it's raised, it's Teba. Oh, dear. I'm not spotting this one. Etna. Etna. Etna would be a high point. Oh, and a steak is an anti duh, of course it is, of course it is. Oh, I'm feeling so silly. This is something that's always in the New York crosswords, the word anti. Um, and if you reverse it, you get Etna, and that is definitely a high point in Europe. Uh, and a low point in this stream. Six down. Finish support heading off to foster care. Finish support heading off to foster, foster care. Hi, Kai Blot. Thank you very much. Um, finally, I did did get that clue thank you for the for the thanking there oh dear <laughs> this isn't even the toughie oh no uh, finish support heading off to foster care uh, okay so support like a staff and then take the first letter off and you get uh i get a foster care uh, oh dear because I'm aware of the time, because 45 minutes, we're approaching halfway, and we're definitely not approaching halfway in the puzzle, so... Mm. <laughs> Foggy's just done a clue for Nadir. That's excellent. Um, it's slightly depressing. Uh, finish could be cease. No, finish could be end. Support. And then take the heading off for foster care. Mm. If you foster, you... <laughs> right one, Dan's upset, botting him out. Yeah, that's, that's so good. Um, no, any hints for number six down? I oh. Could step be the word for foster? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Uh, foster... Could just mean put in, because foster could be, you know, surround to take care of. So if you take... Foster is an anagrind, blimey. Okay, so if we've got an anagram. Support would be... So it's something with missing its first letter, and then an anagram of care. Yes? Oh, uh, is foster an anagrind? Uh, mm. Ooh, what's your idea, Catnip? Caress. Mm, the word care is already in there. So, okay, not spotting. Uh, no, that's the right spelling, can it? Uh, not spotting what's going on there. So, it's seven down. Sea creature behaving badly, one hears. Left America. Sea creature behaving badly, one hears. Left America. <sighs> okay. Um, so. There's, there's going to be some form of uh, of sounds like going on here. Uh, left America, possibly L-U-S. Okay, Catnip, you think you know seven down. Physics has got it. Okay. Okay, I'll give it a few seconds, then I'll go for a hint. Uh, sea creature is, I'm assuming it's the definition. Behaving badly. Rioting. Um, something ing. And then behaving badly. Left America. No, hit please. L-U-S is right. Is that L-U-S at the end? Oh, don't do that. Left America. At the end. Okay. Oh, Nautilus. Nautilus. Okay, now why? So, naughty. 
So yes, if you're behaving badly, you are naughty, and that's that's close enough. And then L U S for left America. Well done, well done, everyone for getting that before before me. Uh, someone said they think they had six down. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but what do you think uh, it is? Uh, someone said attend. Nautilus. Nautilus. Uh, it's not quite the same. There is a very, very... Uh, what is it, physics for six down? It's not quite exactly the same, but I'm actually happy with that clue. I think that's close enough for my ears. Um... Get 10A, it will help. Okay, barrel kept in bar, a domed building. Oh, we haven't tried this one. I thought we had. Uh, barrel kept in bar, a domed building. Okay, a barrel is going to be hit a ton. Ha, okay. Uh, and then... The bar is going to be a rod. And then it's the letter A. So this is uh, a domed building here is the rotunda. You've got a ton, which is a type of barrel for beer. It's uh, probably something to do with beer making. Ask Gary, he'll know more. Uh, in a rod and then the letter A. So finish, let's probably end. Support with the head off. Uh, is it end dear then? So we have uh, support will be bare. If you support something, you bear the weight of something. And then if you care, you endear yourself. So that is endear. There we go. 14 across. Politician and artist in defamation case. Okay, I'm happy with this one. Politician and artist in defamation case. Phew, I've actually got this one. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, you could. It, it could be rare. Heading off to foster. To foster would be to rear. That would make more sense. Uh, okay, politician and artist in defamation case. I'll give another 10 seconds. Uh, if you uh, defame someone, you could be accused of libel. And the artist is Ra. Uh, very, very crossword fodder here. Uh, that's not a bad thing. It's just Ra comes up a lot for artist. And if you put R in uh, libel, you get liberal. And of course, uh, a libel is something that tells you the price of something or, to, you, know, uh, you know, it's got a libel on it. Oh, yes. Four down. Interpret excuse for delay when one is lost. OK, I've now got this. I think. <laughs> Why is Artist RA? It's uh, a member of the Royal Academy or something like that. I don't... Was there ever an artist actually called Ra? I assumed that was the case, so I've actually just learned something here. Uh, I think this must be translate. Oh, yes. Oh, this... It is translate. Because if the trains are late because they're never on time, trains late is an excuse is a, a, an excuse for a delay. But if you lose the one from trains late, you get translate, uh, which means to interpret. That's quite nice. I like that one. Uh, let's go for the biggie. 17 across. If uh, I'll go to 15 down if we can't get this one. 15 down. Oh, it's four words. 3255. Five. Restraining madman is our job. Tangling with menace is not. Well, this is a clue that's relevant right now, isn't it, really? Restraining madmen is our job. Tangling with menace is not. Three, two, five, five. Just over half the time gone. We're just under halfway, so I need to pick up a bit of speed. So this second word must either be in or an or on. <laughs> Probably not en or un, but it is. Down to three. Um, Shift Liberal is not as good a cop show as Orangutan Agent. I wouldn't. I wouldn't watch Shift Liberal. <laughs> uh, oh, hang on, hang on. Look at the look at this. Fifteen. Look at the top row. Fifteen. Okay. Some, there's something here. Okay. Um. Interesting. There, there is. It's a bit of a Nina. A Nina is something hidden in a crossword. 
so yeah, there's a hidden thing. Uh, can I have a hint on this one? Um, restraining man. I'm not even seeing. Uh, if you look at look at the very top line, the top line spells out the word fifteen. Is an anagram? Is restraining an no tan it, uh, tangling is the anagram. Okay, so it's an anagram of with menace is not. Uh, with menace is not. Oh, okay. Uh, and so it's restraining madman. Something in, probably. Um, what is the first, what is the first letters? What is the first letter of the first word, please? Tan in, set, set, san, can, M, oh bloody, man in, man in, and then five, five, white, white, is it white then? Oh, it's not, it's okay, it's men, men in, men in white suits. Men in white suits, is it that? That not hmm. I haven't see I've written down the anagram indicator, but uh I've only got fourteen letters here for some reason, so I've missed one out now, so I can't quite work out the anagram. Man it men in white <laughs> Men in white suits. Uh the, white suits, it's the white straight jackets. What men in white Men in white tights, because someone said Robin Hood. Men in tights. Men in white. Men in white coats. Men in white coats. They, they were having a formal day. It wasn't dressed down Friday, so they were in suits. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, dear. I, I also should not apologise for my muppetry, because otherwise I will be here all day. Men in white coats. So, restraining madman is our job. Literally, white coats do that. Uh, and it's an anagram of with menace is not 17 down causes offense with independent doctor probing lower regions causes offense with independent doctor probing lower regions. Hmm. Um, independent will be I. And Doctor is going to be one of MB, MO, DR, MB. I think I said MB twice there. Anyway, there's a few things. Um, causes offence. Feels like it is the definition. Causes offence with independent. I, I'm expecting that this bottom row here with the seven squares will also spell out another word. So it's like 15 and then something here. Um, causes offence. It is Dr. Gary. Gary, give me a hint here, Gary. Um, I mean, doctor could be a PhD. Haven't quite passed my answer, but I think it's a specific type of doctor. Oh, like an ENT. Or uh, maybe. Causes offence with independent. Lower regions is the definition. Lower regions. Okay. Cause if you cause offence, you m ma ma you hmm. and is is it just ma? No. You, um, if you cause offence, you hurt, you disappoint, you um hmm. Further hint here, please. Here, do apologise mean um mm. causes offense is five letters and begins with m so does that mean one two three four five that is an s oval answer is a plural lower regions okay yes 
Uh, one doctor. Something like that is currently what I'm thinking, which I mean, the low regions, meh, much higher. Ooh. Probing, okay, yes, of course. So probing means we could be putting something in. DR for doctor. Ah, thank you, there we go. Thank you, miff, I'm a bit miffed. So once, once I'd realized probing, meant stick things in, I was away. So, causes offence, you miff. It's That's quite slang, but uh, you, you miff, M-I-F-F-S, because it's plural, because uh, it's causes offence. And then independent doctor, IDR, puts, probe that in, and you get middle regions for midriffs. Thank you. 19 across. Somewhere in New Zealand, I know the answer to this already, by the way, daughter listened to radio, missing start. Oh, the, I like this. Somewhere in New Zealand, daughter listened to radio. Missing start. I think... It's not going to be... It, this isn't going to be 15 squared, is it? S-Q-U-A-R-E-D. It's not going to be 15 squared, is it? What was the number of this puzzle? Just in case. 29383. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, this one. New Zealand place beginning with D. Yep, job done. If you if you know this place, this helps. But if you go if you if you listen to the radio, you get tune in or tuned in. Take the head off of that, you get unid in, and you've got daughter at the start. So it's daughter for D, and then it's tuned in, but missing that first T from tuned in. But yeah, this is have to end with a Q. That's a very good point. New question about supermarket exchange. New question about supermarket exchange this q is at the end of the word ah uh, yes okay this uh, this is a supermarket that it's going to be 15 squared this is which is a uh, uh a crossword resource which is very appropriate if you go to 15 squared.net you can see all, all the uh all the reviews of recent puzzles but i don't really like the site because they're all oh it's so easy and just oh i didn't like this it, anyway Na uh, asda this is one that the american uh, american contingent or at least non-brits will will struggle to get here nasdaq is the stock exchange asda is a U uk uh, supermarket chain owned by walmart uh, and it's new question n and q with asda in the middle yes uh, the site was named 15 squared because most crosswords are 15 by 15. Uh, N Walmart Q does not sound quite as good. Did uh, do I know, they have clouds on Nasdaq? Do they, Sensei? How do they have clouds on Nasdaq? I'm a bit confused. 24 across. Small figure among clique. Small figure among clique. Now, we don't have an X or a Z, but we do have a Q in here. We don't have a J yet. I always like a good pangram, but I'm not willing to sound the pangram horn yet. Uh, small figure among clique. A clique would be a unit or a group. <sighs> small is S. Probably. Figure among clique. Hmm. Hmm. Not spotting this. So, hints, please. What word am I looking for for click here? Because... Um, small is not S. Okay, figure. Figure could be a size. In Small figure could be an inset. Among click would be in a set. There we go. A small figure is an inset. Like, on a... On a in a magazine, you've got an inset that's a small figure, small image, uh, among a click. There we go. Now we know, or are highly suspecting, that this ends in a U, which will help us solve this. So I'm immediately thinking tofu, uh, but it's not. It's not. Having looked at the clue, express uh, disapproval over posh archbishop. Express 
disapproval over posh archbishop. I will bulls boy if you can hang off, hold off on on the answers just immediately, just to allow people to uh, to get it. Uh, and same with we like shapes, just hold fire on these for just a little. Uh, it is two two. It is two two. You tucked above. Uh, posh is you because of a book in the nineteen thirties, wasn't it? You and non you. But yes, if I asked you to name any archbishop other than two two, I bet you couldn't. And now you're going to. Uh, 27 across, in the outskirts of Franklin, take coffee and squash. In the outskirts of Franklin, take coffee and squash. I don't know why posh equals you. It's it's from a, it's from a, a book. Uh, and of Canterbury is not an acceptable archbishop. <laughs> Thomas Beckett. Okay, okay. Good point, but we're going back a bit. I couldn't name any any 20th or 21st century ones. Uh, right, outskirts of Franklin here is going to be FN. Take coffee, uh, coffee, which will be a latte. And you get flatten, you get squash. Squash means to flatten. So in the outskirts of Franklin, the, the first and last letters of Franklin, FN. Take coffee, a latte, uh, and you get flatten. I'll have a flatten white, please. Okay, now we know that this one ends in A. Because I, I am, I'm assuming it's squared. 15 squared. Old man eating chicken. Sign that could portend prodigious events. Old man. Old man, sorry. Eating chicken. Sign that could portend prodigious events. This will speed up things. Uh, especially this one. Uh, I'm trying to parse it. I know what the answer must be. Nine minutes to go. We're fine. No, we, we will hit this. We will smash this out of the park. Yes, Aiden, I think it says 15 squared at the, the first and last rows. Uh, I think this is phenomena. But why? Old man eating chicken. The chicken is the hen. So we've got hen there. And the sign... Ah, oh, your old man is your pa. And that's the, the start and the end. Uh, and then you've got hen and omen. The sign is an omen that could portend. That's... Uh, um, that's in there for omen. And that gives you prodigious events, which are phenomena. 26 cross. Factory worker achieving speed of sound in Backstreet. Factory worker achieving speed of sound in Backstreet. Okay, speed of sound is... Mac. Ah, and as soon as I say that, I'm happy with this one. The speed of sound is Mac, like Mac 1, Mac 2. Phenomena. Uh, phen phenomena. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, a back street. Uh, so you've got speed of sound, Mac. In is literally in. And... She's got to be a machinist, but I don't know where the extra I comes from. Um, well, the word is machinist, but it's Mac as in Mac 1. We wouldn't say match 1. Oh, Mac 1 is indeed the speed of sound. That's good. I like that. So Mac 1 is the speed of sound, literally. And then it's in, returning, uh, back. So in, back, and then street, S-T. Okay, assuming that this is an R for squared, 15 down, bid slacker to work, one perhaps reluctant to do so, bid slacker to work, perhaps one reluctant to do so. Um, okay, yep, got this one. I have this one. Uh, we have an anagram here. To work is an anagram indicator. If you anagram bid slacker, you get a backslider, which sort of sounds like bid slacker. Uh, and a, big, uh, a backslider is someone who is reluctant to do work. Okay, now assuming that this is an E. Uh, 18 down. Being frailer, I fired weapon. Being frailer, I fired weapon. Okay, got this one. I'll give this uh, 10 or so seconds. I'll get 15 because I am generous. Being frailer, I fired weapon. Now fired here. Fired here is your anagram. Is your anagram indicator? Uh, anagram of frailer, I. You get air rifle. And the fact that it was 3-5 was a massive help here. Um, and finally, D. 
for squared. 22 down, concentrated and played, successful snooker shot. Concentrated and played, successful snooker shot. Okay. I assume... Yeah, I've got this, but not the parsing. Uh, I assume this is potted. Is this a double definition that I'm just unaware of? If you play a successful snooker shot, you pot a ball. So you've potted. If you concentrate, do you pot? I know you can potter, but that's that's you just ambling along. Um, oh, concentrated as in um, squashed down. Okay. So this very much looks like syrup, doesn't it? So let's have a look at 21 across. Hissy fit. As drinks knock, knocked back. Hissy fit. As drinks knocked back. Is it syrup? As. No, I don't think it's syrup. Hissy fit is a strop, isn't it? So, ports. The drink is a port. The drink is a port. As ports knocked back, you get a strop. I, I psyched you all out with syrup, didn't I there? Oh, totally deliberate. Uh, 828 across. Cyclist's trick. Excited cry to give false impression. Cyclist's trick. Excited cry to give false impression. Yep, happy with this. Four minutes to go. Yeah. We'll get stuck on 23 down. You, you watch. Oh, yeah. Right, this is something I would love to be able to ride a bike. I used to be able to ride a bike about 20 years ago. And they say you can't forget to learn how to ride a bike, but you can. Anyway, we is going to be... I went very Wallace and Gromit there. <laughs> is, the, uh, is the excited cry. And if you lie, you give a false impression that gives you a wheelie. I don't think I've ever done a wheelie. At least... Nah, I don't think so. Um, and finally, 23 down. Boat company in Cornwall, etc. Boat company in Cornwall, etc. Etc. Sorry, it annoys me when people when say etc. It's not, it's etc. Please, thank God. Yes, not knowingly done a wheelie. I did. Might have had an accident. Okay. This was in the New York Times crossword, either yesterday or the day before this word, and I still don't know what this word means. I should have looked it up. I think this is scow. Uh, this is company, CO, in Cornwall, etc., which is the southwest of the UK. Uh, oh, yes, spoilers, apologies. Uh, <laughs> and you get a scow. Uh, uh, what is that? Hello, Listwitz. Hope you're well. Uh, it's a boat type. So that is a type of boat. That would make sense. A boat with a flat bottom. I know about flat bottoms. Make your own joke. With two and a half minutes to go, let's submit the puzzle. Hopefully we have 100%. We do. Da-da-da-da. <laughs> <laughs> 